Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Road Choice TV. I'm your host, Justin, and today we're talking about Road Choice Severe Duty Condensers. As you know, the condenser is a key part of your truck's HVAC heat transfer system. It's basically a refrigerant coil mounted in a series of thin cooling fins. Here's how it works. High pressure gas refrigerant from the compressor enters at the top and flows through its tubes. Air flow across the condenser fins transfers heat to the cooler outside air. And as that heat is transferred, the refrigerant changes to a warm, high pressure liquid, which exits the bottom of the condenser and flows on to the receiver dryer. In recent years, truck production has moved to a new type of condenser, parallel flow, also known as multi-flow. Road Choice offers all condenser types, so you can make an exact swap with whichever one your truck uses. Today, we're focused on parallel flow condensers found on most heavy duty trucks. I'm gonna point out features that all parallel designs have in common, then I'll show you how Road Choice stands out as the best aftermarket replacement for your vehicle. Here's how it's constructed. The parallel flow design has a different tube shape and size than other condenser types. It gets its name from how refrigerant is transferred across multiple parallel tubes instead of flowing through one continuous tube. Parallel flow condensers have a cylindrical hollow tank on the right and left side, and the tanks are connected by approximately 40 flat horizontal tubes. Each tube is dependent of the others and they're all individually welded to the two tanks. This creates a very efficient cooling process that allows the refrigerant to change from a gas to a liquid as it flows across from one tank to the other. On most trucks, these flat tubes are only about 7 eighths of an inch wide, but with multiple passageways within each one. These multiple passageways are so small, you can barely fit a thumbtack in them. This small diameter means you'll have problems if your truck's AC system has debris in it. And that's why parallel flow type condensers depend on you maintaining your AC system in order to achieve optimum AC performance. Now compared to other condenser types, parallel flow designs are very lightweight, efficient, and they cost less. But parallel flow condensers are not repairable if they break, and since the tubes are so small, they're not flushable. So how do they transfer heat? When refrigerant from the compressor enters the top of the condenser, the refrigerant is a high pressure gas, about 222 PSI at 140 degrees. The gas enters the condenser's tank and hits the first baffle, and that baffle sends the refrigerant to the left until it hits another baffle and gets sent back to the right. This back and forth flow continues, involving about 10 tubes per pass in each direction. Even though the tubes are independent, engaging them in banks of 10 is the most efficient way to begin cooling the refrigerant into a high pressure liquid. In typical parallel condenser designs, that cooling occurs about two thirds of the way down. The goal is to create a temperature drop from inlet to outlet of anywhere from 10 to 26 degrees. Now, when choosing a condenser for your truck, here's something you should think about. Road Choice Parallel Flow Condensers feature an enhanced design that provides additional structural integrity. Here's the issue. Typical parallel condensers are assembled with nearly 80 different welds. And due to engine vibration, road shock, and constant use, the condenser tends to distort, which causes welds to break and refrigerant to leak. A broken weld is a very common failure. Road Choice has a great fix for that. Our condensers have additional framing on the top and bottom of both sides, ensuring that the condenser remains rigid and square. This extra support prevents distortion, twisting, and broken welds. Here's a typical parallel type condenser that's sold without framing. You can see there's really nothing to support the condenser body from moving up and down. With the Road Choice framing design, you should see fewer condenser replacements over time. So there are different types of condensers found in HVAC systems today, and we've seen how parallel flow designs have earned their place as the standard on the majority of trucks on the road today. Most important, 
You've seen how Road Choice works to address the problems that lead to frequent condenser failure and replacement. They're stronger, more rigid, and built to OEM specs to ensure dependable performance. To learn more, visit your nearest Road Choice parts counter and check out our products, catalogs, and videos at roadchoice.com. And as always, if you have questions, send me an email to justin at roadchoice.com and I'll get you an answer. Well, thanks for watching and keep coming back for new episodes. We're here to give you information and tips that you can put to use right away to keep your truck performing at its best.